Hey guys, hope you're all doing very well. We're going to do a very quick update on Bitcoin today, looking at the lower time frames and the higher time frames. So we're just going to recap on the higher time frame. So basically there were two potential bullish continuation patterns that we were looking at where we're looking at the W, X, Y. Okay, now there were two potential targets for Y, one being 35K, the other being 24K. So the explanations for why 35K was significant we first of all take a look at camera pivots here on the weekly time frame you can see the significance of them so when we're on the weekly time frame each period represents one year so this is 2018 s4 excellent support in 2019 r4 excellent resistance 2020 s3 excellent support then going into 2021 we managed to finish above r4 showing that we're in a strong uptrend and so as a result you then look for support off of the subsequent s3 or s4 in the next period okay so s3 sits at 35k s4 sits at 24k so that's the explanation for that on top of that we've got our monthly range so if you pull up the monthly time frame you can see this series of green candles followed by three red candles if you mark out this block of where the red candles are you've got the top of the range bottom of the range and interestingly the bottom of the range is at 35k so a bit of double confluence in and around that 35k mark okay so with that said obviously 35k was a very important level to monitor but the question was is it going to act as a major reversal we're going to see new all-time highs originate from this low or are we just going to see a dead cat bounce now as it stands i'm going to explain how we're not quite yet out of the dead cat bounce territory okay we've seen this move up but we can see this smaller pitchfork that's holding the price action to the downside okay so if we just zoom in we can take a look on the four hourly now okay so this pitchfork is a shift pitchfork using our first second and third pivots and you can see how the lines are getting respected pretty nicely here and i would say the boundaries of this price action this trend are the lower median line and the upper median line okay so you look for symmetry when we're looking for the boundaries of the trend okay now you can see we've just overshot the upper median line just as we slightly overshot it to the downside on the on the lower median line so i would say that we're still very much within the downtrend as it stands but you can see it's a really pivotal point because if we push any higher, I would definitely say the bulls are taking control of this market once more. Okay, as it stands, I would still see this as a three wavish move up. So a first wave, second wave makes the flat and then a third leg higher. Okay, and there's actually a pitchfork holding that price action there also. So this is a shift pitchfork holding the price action to the upside, first, second and third pivots. And you can see we're still very much within the pitchfork, reaching the extremities almost at the upper warning line. And now we're just getting pinned down. So it'll be very interesting to see how things play here. But I think we might see a bit of selling pressure. You can see if we look at left, we can see there's a big range here. And we're just testing the underside of this big range right here okay so it's another very important level there was a bit of a liquidity tap as we took out these previous highs so very interesting level could act as a good reversal to the downside i would be looking at this smaller pitchfork right here to determine any further continuation of the downtrend so obviously a loss of this lower warning line would confirm the loss of this bounce right here alternatively if we push any higher taking out this upper median line basically taking out this high here i would say the bulls are taking control of this market once more right now i would say it's a good trading opportunity for shorts but we'll have to see how it plays out as i say we're very very close to the upper median line if we push any higher the bulls are flipping the control of the market okay so that's one thing to look at on top of that i will just throw out the ethereum chart there's a very similar pitchfork holding the price action to the downside and as you can see the upper warning line still holding on to the price action to the downside so still the downtrend is intact again if it pushes any higher you're probably going to argue that the bulls are taking control of this market so the highlights of this video are just to demonstrate the bear market is still intact and if it pushes any higher yes the bulls are taking control and we could potentially look out for new all-time highs or alternatively, it could just be a correction of this first three wave move, three wave move down. So we could be just correcting that and then make another three legged move down. OK, so we'll obviously discuss that in more detail if we take out this high. But that's how it stands. So let's see how things play out, guys. As I say, at the moment, we're still in dead cat bounce territory. But if we push any higher, yes, bulls are taking control.